Welcome back to Korea Digital Training. Tonight, we will learn how to combine all those videos we have been creating from Project 2 to Project 4. How do we combine them? We are going to be using the app called InShot. You go to your Play Store and download InShot. If you have not downloaded it, download it, then you open it. Now it has opened. It has finished opening. You can now decide on what you want to create. So we can go to video. We want to create a video. You go to new. If you have not opened it for the first time, we just open. So go to new. If this is the second time of using it. Now, you're going to select the videos in the way you want them to appear, in the order of arrangement. I'm going to first of all select intro video you created using Legend app. And uh, you, you then select either the whiteboard animation video or the explainer video, either one of them. And you then select the animated logo you created using Render Forest. After that, you select good now you see that it is arranged in the order of the way I picked it now look at the options here you have canvas this is the appearance of the video music this music option is where you can add you can add a voiceover or you add a song that will play on the background of your video so if you go to music if you want to add a song in the background, you go to track. And if you want to record a voice over, you can go to record. Now, you have to time you. Then, if the recording was good, it's okay that way. You can play from here to see what I've recorded. Then, but then after playing and so it is good, you go to good and mark it to register. Then, and that's now teach you with InShot is to teach you how to remove watermark. Like if you look at this video, you the video you created with Legend has a Legend watermark. And the animation video you created, Render Forest, has a Render Forest watermark. So you simply go to text. You can see text. Click on text. And decide to cover the legend watermark by adding, let me say, digital. You can see it. You bring it down to this place so it can cover that watermark. When you are done, you click good. Then... You drag it to this place. When you are done, you click good. You see it has covered that legend watermark. If you watch very closely to your video, you know that you have two watermarks there that you want to cover. You have legend to cover and you have render forest to cover. Now we have successfully covered legend. Now to cover that of render forest. You know, render forest is always by the left so you go back to test again you go to text you go to you type what you want to cover they can you can decide to put your phone number there you can decide to put anything there So when you are done, you drag it to the right and keep it there. You can change the color of the background of the text. If you want to change the background of the color of the text, you, you go to text, you click on it here, go to edit, you see this, this keyboard here means you are typing. This color here means you want to change the color, see text. You change the color of the text by selecting any of these, you can see it border 
change the border, you see it, shadow, change the shadow, you can see them, label, you can change the label, you can see it, obesity, you can change how you want it to look. So when you are done, you are done with this, click this, click good, then when you are done, for, for this thing to appear, you can appear nice, you can reduce the size, and increase the size anyhow you want it. Put it to cover this render forest that's always by the right. You can see what I'm doing. Then from here, you can now drag it to the end of your video. You drag this to your text to the end of your video. You can see what I'm doing. You drag this your text to the end of your video so that no one will know the apps you use in creating the video. When you are done with that, you can now you are done with that and and you are done adding your voice over that suits the right top in your video and also introduce people to the video then after adding that right top and they after adding the voice over and the right top the next thing you do is to learn how to trans and learn the transitions click good when you're done with the right top then for you to learn the transitions if you look at this place, you will see something like this. If you look below, below at this scroll button, scroll place, you will see this place. Anywhere you see two windows joined together, that is only place you can put a transition. Then if you want to put a transition where two windows are not joined together, you are going to use the split option. See the split option. This split option can also be used to eliminate a part of the window that you don't want to appear in the video. If I don't want a part of this to show in my video, I can come to that part, put split, and come to the other part of it that I don't want to show in the video, the end point and the last point, and put other split. So I can now decide to click on the place, that place that I already put split, and now delete. That particular place will no longer show on my video. You can undo and redo using these arrows then after we have done with that the next thing is to play your video check if what you have edited is okay and presentable when you are done setting everything you can add a sticker from here you can change from this sticker you can add a sticker from this filter you can change the color of your video and the from the pre-cut, you can pre-cut it, delete, delete any part of the video that, that is in your edit line. Background, you can use this background to change the background of your video. You can see it, it's changing. You can use it to change the background of the video. You can use the speed, to increase the speed of the video, like you want the video to be running very fast or want it to be running very slow. You can use the crop to crop it. You can use the volume to increase the volume of the video. You can use a replace to replace any part, duplicate to duplicate any part, revise to go back, rotate to want the video to rotate upside down or left side. So when you are done doing everything to your test, then you go to save. You go to save, change this resolution. If you are creating an advanced video, you can leave it like this. But if you are creating a video for this training, I advise you to use a low size video because of WhatsApp. So you go to resolution take it to if we are sending it to the group chat go to resolution at you see plus here go to resolution at 620 at most or let's use 700 at most we are sending it to the group chat click ok go to frame size put it at 24 you see the model has, has reduced to 23.6 mb depending on the size of your video when you are done with that you save after saving you now do, to upload it to a group chat for your assignment approval thank you very much and god bless you